and then that is the final answer. But you want to feel ready? <laughs> that looks intimidating. All right, we are recording. Andy, why don't you start us off? Awesome. Uh, appreciate the time, y'all. Um, first off, Chelsea, uh, just what was working so well for you today? Uh, I think a season high, 28 points. So, yeah, what did you see out there? Um, they were just showing different coverages offensively. We were moving the basketball. Sometimes we were we, we just missed a lot of our shots in the first quarter, but we got good shots and the extra rotations, great passing, and my teammates were just passing the ball, and I was able to knock it down. Definitely. Uh, Jackie, what kind of changed for you, especially in that fourth quarter? It seemed like everything started to finally click and come together. Yeah, I just tried to be aggressive the whole game. Uh, my teammates were getting me the ball. Uh, missed a late one uh, that we really needed, but... Um, yeah, just trying to be aggressive, make the right reads, uh, whether that's scoring or getting my teammates to the ball. For sure. Uh, Chelsea, what's kind of the message to Asia after that missed layup at the end of the clock? I mean, I know she does so much for this team, but what do you guys as teammates tell her after a, a play like that? Um, it happens. Like, people miss layups. It, I mean, it's going to hurt. It sucks, right, to be in that position. But we should never have been in that position to begin with. Um, we have a better first quarter. We give ourselves a chance towards the end of the game. Um, so sh she'll be fine. We support her. Um, it's not going to deter us from going to her late game anyways. Um, she just missed it, and it's fine. Next next possession, next play, next game. And then last thing for me, um, Chelsea, I know you played with BG uh, at the Olympics. I don't, know, I don't know if you saw the news about her sentencing, but do you have anything that you'd like to say about that situation? Um, you know, one of our sisters is not here. Um, got emotional earlier uh, about it, of her not being here. We miss her. Um, we support her from out here as much as, as much as possible. Um, sucks for her family, for her wife. Um, I miss her. I miss my homie. So I, I hope she's doing okay. And, um, I hope I see her really soon. Thank you. Mr. Emerson, you can focus out. Jackie, uh, I'm trying to look at the numbers. Really quick. I think nine for 28 for KP over the last two games. How have you seen defenses commit to her and kind of throw off her game? Yeah, I mean, they're trapping her. Uh, I mean, they know she's playing her best basketball right now, so they're really focusing on her. Um, but, I mean, she's a scorer. She's going to make shots. Uh, we aren't too worried about her attempts. I mean, uh, we She'll trust her fine. with the ball. She'll be fine, uh, like Chelsea said. But yeah, I mean, defensive just focusing on her a little bit, a little bit more, and so she's just making the right reads. But um, yeah, she's gonna be fine. And then Chelsea, last one for me. And then Chelsea, last one for me. Um, you just said next game as well. Obviously, the next game closes out this road trip. What is Obviously, where do you, where do you guys start beginning tomorrow? Um, we're focused on the next game. We learn from this in those moments, um, like any other game. Um, we watch film, we get better, and um, try to implement some of the things in Seattle. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Let's go. Or like tomorrow, just as a note, Kelsey Pump did make three three pointers today. She's now on the second player of WNBA history to have a hundred and a fifty back to back. And Kelsey Gray's 28 points were not only a season high, but a high for her time with the Aces, but two off of her career high of 30. We'll see everybody in Seattle.